So let's have a look and see what damage we've done. We've got four broken wing stubs. Um, FYI, is a modern way of saying for your information, I'm not going to be repairing those because they proved to be uh, a weak point, of course, um, which I always knew they would be, of course. I was hoping these studs would uh, break the pins rather before the so it's a fair amount of lead there fair amount actually yeah i'm going to make the wing one piece and the wing is going to sit in a cutout no it's not it's going to sit on top of the fuselage with dowels to hold it on for the rubber bands so let's put that to one side a minute and have a look at the wings yep that's the wing so what i plan to do put those to one side a minute what I plan to do is to join them and band it onto the fuselage maybe put another quarter inch square here give the dihedral brace something to mount to top and bottom also had an idea daydreaming if I was to build a symmetrical wing section I could have an aerobatic I could do inverted passes with that wouldn't that be cool? <laughs> An aerobatic Da Vinci flyer. I've got to take away some of this covering. Maybe I can take it, make sure it's ironed down and just cut through where my fingernail is. Then I can stick on. Mind you, I've got to get into that. So maybe it would be better to take off the top piece and leave the bottom piece intact. Um, I'll stick these back on just because I'll need something to stick. They can stick together, but I can brace them up on the inside with small dihedral braces. How about this for an idea? Why don't I just for now key it in eighth of an inch? So if I cut an eighth of an inch hop hole, then I can cut a step in the end of the new main spar just to key in there so the top half will be butted but the bottom half will be glued in that's what i'll do so i'll do the other half of the wing and then we'll reconvene i'm going to glue them like that but with a dihedral brace in between maybe yeah the more dihedral it has the more neutrally stable it'll be cut that i think this through eight inch down that's an angle a little slot in the wing and into that little slot I'm going to put that main spar normally I'd cut it completely in there you might have got away with it probably would actually but this is a bit of fun isn't it so let's just put that down like that Like that. Let's try that. Put a slot in there. I've got to cut a slot all the way down there because that has to. I have to have a piece of plywood. Um, I could go with just one dihedral brace. I don't need a bit of ply both sides. I could just go with one side and put the dihedral braces there and there. And that should be enough to be honest. So let's have a look. That will go in there. Then I'll put applied dihedral brace, it'll slot down in front of there, it'll glue onto the faces of that, onto the face of the rib there, 
and then continue across and up into the other wing which I'll prepare now. So let me do that. I may even cut the dihedral brace and then we'll reconvene yet again. Right, okay, so I've cut uh, two dihedral braces, one for the front, one for the back. And this rather odd shaped one, a tapered dihedral brace, no less, which is gonna fit in here. It's a good fit in that side like that. So that's gonna all epoxy in together like that. Okay, there we are guys. We'll leave it there and come back to it when it's good and set. Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Gosh, you know that feels so light. What I want to do is to add a bit of quarter inch spar across the bottom here. Um, obviously in an ideal world, this would be um, one piece joined in the center. And we'll be of course on the kit version. Let's sort of offer it up a little bit, shall we? If I leave the wing where it goes, I'll build it up a bit. I'll put, add some gussets, as I said, um, and I'll put some angled pieces to bring the wing up. Alternatively, I could take the fuselage sides down a little bit as an angle. A little bit of fettling to do, of course. Uh, it just misses those server who odds, just misses that. <laughs> That's close. Um, There we go, and the hatch might still be room for it. Uh, right go over that. I have to trim the back of the hatch down, but I've got to reassemble the tail. That's still a little bit broken. Put the elevator back on. I've put gussets in the four corners. I've Put a bit of ply on the back so the rubber bands don't cut in and also reinforce the trailing edge. I've put a piece of bolster on the leading edge. Reinforces that nicely and um, gives something for the bands to go over. So I'm just sanding that to shape. Getting down there now, so slowing down a bit. Let's just shake that off. Let me warm the iron up and cut some pieces out and get this wing finished. Uh, I've repaired that with a bit of a patch. The same up there, repaired that with a bit of a patch. So it's just a matter of cutting some little pieces out from here. Back in a minute. I'm half tempted to uh, cover that back piece in. Let's cover it in just for a bit of fun. See how we get on. I can always cut it out. Okay, it's crude, but the job's done. Okay, that's going to go on there like that. I've, cut, I've trimmed this front edge of this hatch down as well. So 
that's fitting quite nicely. Um, so what I need to do is to offer the pilot in somehow, make sure he sits in there. Actually, I'm not, I'm not far off. Um, ready to fly it. Okay, how did I do this then? That's got to go in there like that. Uh, and these uh, gussets I put in the corner. No, oh, no, they squeeze past. And the cables up. Huh. Stand up. Here we are. Well, that's it. That's it, guys. I glued the elevator back in and tidied up that. I think the pilot looks pretty good sitting in there, to be honest. Looks like a little cockpit, doesn't it? And the um, angle of attack is a little bit less than it was, but I always felt it was slightly uh, more than it needed to be. So the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. If be a piece of cake, I can just wedge it up at the back or the front to alter that now. I need to just put a little bit of wood in the front there under the bands. So summing up of the Da Vinci Flyer so far then, uh, we had the Mark 1, we've had the Mark 2, um, we've had the Mark 3 with the better wings. Now guys, this is I suppose sort of, I don't want to call them extra marks, Mark 3A perhaps with the banded on wing. Uh, the undercarriage survived pretty well. So now I've got nice big battery bay underneath for CG manipulation. Although with the biplane, it was very tail heavy, as we've seen with the video, rather exciting. Um, but I think that is looking rather nice. I've got, um, I'm drawing up plans for a fuselage, well, and the wings. I'm getting there with the, the drawings. Uh, but on the whole, really good. So if you want to see this one going, which is pretty much the same as the old one, but I feel it's a different model now because from the initial successful flight, I've got an undercarriage now. And it'll be interesting to see what happens with the slightly lower incidence on the wing. So thanks very much for watching. And um, if you want to join the channel, there's a little join button down below. Have a look at that and uh, look at the perks you get. Uh, uh, and it's much appreciated. Uh, if you do decide to join so thanks very much and i'll see you in the next video cheers guys can't wait to test fly this one again sort of a test flight i won't call it a maiden it's not a maiden it's just a well you know yeah, waffling cheers